In lesson six, we're going to learn about editing text. We're going to see how to split large paragraphs into two. I'm going to show you how to show and hide the paragraph symbols and other non-printable characters. We'll learn about hard returns and how to make two paragraphs into one big one. Now I'm going to continue by typing in some additional information about my company. Our company, PC Resale. Dot net has been selling computer systems since 1994. We specialize in new and used computer equipment. We also provide carry-in and on-site computer support and training. We are devoted to 100% customer satisfaction. Enter. End of paragraph. Now looking over this paragraph, I'm saying to myself, that really should be two separate paragraphs. I've got two completely different ideas and trains of thought here. The beginning of it talks about giving me a call, and the end of it talks about our company. So let's break this up into two different paragraphs. To split a paragraph into two, it's real simple. Just take your mouse and click where you want to break the paragraph up. I'll put it right here in front of our company, and then I'll press Enter, which signifies the end of a paragraph, and then I'll press Tab to indent this new paragraph. And now I've created two separate paragraphs out of one. Now take a look up on the ribbon in the paragraph group under the home tab and find this button right here that says show paragraph marks and other hidden formatting symbols. Click on that button and look at your document. That will now make the paragraph marks and even the tab marks visible on your document. If I zoom in a little bit you can see them even closer. There's a paragraph symbol down here is a tab and you can actually even see little spaces as dots between the words. We'll do a lot more with the paragraph and hidden symbols in future lessons but I just wanted to show you right now what Word is doing behind the scenes. That actual enter that you hit, that hard return, is an actual paragraph symbol. And no, these paragraph symbols will not print on your document when you print it out. Now, if you decide later on that you want to put these paragraphs back together again, all you have to do is delete these extra characters. Watch this. I'll click right here in front of that paragraph symbol, and I'll press delete. And that deletes the paragraph marker and puts the paragraphs back together again. But I want those as two separate paragraphs, so I'll press enter and then tab again. Now, one little side note that I'd like to mention. Notice how up here, where I have this paragraph break, there's a tab symbol. Down here, there isn't one. What happened was, Microsoft Word converted this into an indent for me, which is different than an actual tab character. Now, we'll talk about indenting and these autocorrect options, this little lightning bolt, in a future lesson. But I just wanted to use this to illustrate how seeing these non-printable characters is very important sometimes. This shows me right away that there's a character here, an actual tab. And if I click up here to get rid of this paragraph, watch this. Delete. See there's an extra tab character there? I have to press delete again and then a space to correct that one. To break those up again, I'll press enter and then tab. And notice now, Word auto-corrected it for me. Sometimes it sees those as paragraphs and puts the indent in for you. Sometimes it doesn't and just leaves a tab character there. That's why it's important to be able to see those non-printable characters. Now you can turn them off if you don't want to see them by simply clicking on the Show Hide Paragraph button again, and that hides them.